Blair of the Mounties, a story of the Royal Northwest Mounted Police. We present the sixth episode in Blair of the Mounties. Imagine a bitter cold winter night in the Northwest Territories, a clear star-spangled sky and the spruce trees cracking like gunshots in the heavy frost. Inside the Hudson Bay store at Fort McAllister, Sergeant Blair and Angus McGregor are busy over a game of chess, while Constable Marshall sits reading by the stove. <laughs> it's no good, Angus. I got you this time. You haven't got a chance. Ah, mon, mon, that's right, the new. <laughs> You're getting mighty smart at this game. Uh, hold on. What is that? What do you mean, Angus? Well, I uh, thought I heard the dog team. Aye, aye, there it is new. Yes, that's right. See what it is, Marshal. All right. Hello? Oh, it's a woman. Come in, come in, ma'am. I want the police sergeant. Yes, what is it? Oh, you better come in and get warm. Angus, for goodness sake, keep that girl away from the stove. Ah, oh, what is wrong? Don't you see that her face is frozen? That's right. Better take care of her, Mrs. McGregor. Oh, but I must see you, sergeant, right away. It's important. All right, honey. But come into the kitchen and I'll fix that face of yours. Oh, but I must talk to the sergeant. All right, I'll come with you. Go ahead, Mrs. McGregor. Angus! Angus! Quick! Look what's in the sleigh. Ah, uh, what is wrong, Manu? Why, it's a baby. She had it in the sleigh with her. Oh, man, now we burn it. Now be careful, Manu. Mercy me! A baby? Goodness, take care now and give it to me. Oh, the poor little thing. Oh, it's all right, Mrs. McGregor. Look at the little beggar laughing. <laughs> he was all bundled up in the furs. Why, the idea of leaving a baby out in the sleigh. Uh, who is the young woman? Oh, she's all right. She had one ear and part of her cheek frosted. But I got it in time. She's talking to Sir Hudson Blair now. All right, Mrs. Sheldon. Now, let me get these facts down. First, your husband's name. George Henry Sheldon. He's a fur buyer at Pigeon Creek. Oh, yes, I've heard of him. Came up here last spring, I believe. Yes, we're from New York. We had a lot of valuable fur at the cabin waiting for a rise in prices. I see. And they cleaned it out, you say? Yes, all but a few muskat and beaver pelts. Right. Now, can you give me the story, just as it happened? I'll try, Sergeant. See who that is, George. I've got to tend to the baby. Mr. Sheldon? Yes. Well, we got a couple of good fox pelts here. Like to have you take a look at them. Well, I don't know. I got about all I can handle. Well, these is mighty good. Yeah, fetch them in, Joe. Okay, Bill. Well, here you are. This isn't, this isn't fox here. Here. Here, what? Let me speak, Joe. Oh, I, that's it. Don't uh, pull that gag. Two times, Bill. Ah, uh, that's okay. Look out, here's the woman. <laughs> Get hold of her, Joe. Hurry up. Quick. Uh, um, uh, that's got him. Now, lay her on that couch. Know where that fur is, Bill? Sure. I tapped this layout proper. Come on, it's in the bedroom under the floor. Got it, Bill? Sure. Yeah. There's a little filler here. Packed come to the floor with fur. And this guy only buys good stuff. Boy, look at that silver fox. Come on, shoot this stuff out to the sleigh. We gotta beat it. I'll sort him out. Here, take this bunch. Okay, Bill. Hey, Bill. Well, what now? Hey, there's a kid asleep in the crib in here. Ah, what of it? You ain't afraid of a kid, are you? No, but Bill, you, you can't leave a kid to freeze. It's a party below outside. Oh, gee, when that, that stove gets cold with a mother all tied up, it's going to be tough for the kid. Hey, grab this bunch of fur and quit beefing. Ain't getting soft, are you? Well, all right. Gosh, if this ain't the swellest bunch of fur I ever seen. Come on, Joe. I got the rest. That's the works, Bill. About all we can carry on the sleigh. Yeah? All right, let's get going. Hold on, Bill. i got to go to the cabin again. Oh, well, what for? Oh, it's okay. I left my knife in there. Well, hurry up. Gosh, what a guy to have on a job like this. I say, well, this is a swell bunch of fur. But I never saw a guy like that before, always holding up the works. Okay, Bill. Well, come on, let's go. Story, Sergeant. I suppose you guessed what this man Joe came back for. Yes, did he cut you loose? No, he loosened the ropes on my hands. Took me a few minutes to get loose. I see. Soft hearted criminal, eh? Yes, and if you get those men, Sergeant, don't forget that if it hadn't been for this man Joe, baby might have died in that cold house before anyone found her. All right, I'll remember. 
How about your husband? Was he hurt? No, but he seemed dazed. So I took baby, got the dogs, and came right up here. All right, we'll pick him up when we get to Pigeon Creek. You stay here and don't worry. Mrs. McGregor will look after you. All ready, Marshal? All set, Sergeant. Let's go, then. All right, Joe. Turn in here and pull around to the barn and stay out of sight. What's the idea, Bill? Ah, uh, this is Maggie Smith. She'll probably take some of this fur. Okay, Bill. Hello? Well, for God's sake. Bill Flint, what do you want? Let me in, Maggie. I want to talk to you. Nothing doing. What? Say, hey, listen here. I got a bunch of good fox fur. I ain't interested. You ain't? Well, look at here. I don't want none of that Sheldon fur. Yeah, uh, well, where do you get that stuff? This ain't... Th- Say, who told you? Oh, the whole country knows about that job you pulled. And the cops is out. The cops? Why, say, you sure? Better get going, Bill. You can't stay here. But say, they couldn't have got on to me so soon unless... Uh... Say, I got it. Uh, let me talk to that partner of mine. Hey, Joe, you in there? Sure. What's doing, Bill? Plenty. The cops is at us. The cops? Yeah? Gosh. Gosh, that's tough, Bill. Tough, is it? Oh, yeah? Suppose you don't know nothing about it, eh? Oh, I know, Bill. I... Uh... Oh, yes, you do. Went in and cut that woman loose, didn't you? No, Bill. I, 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 ju- I just loosened up the rope some... I, I couldn't let that kid to freeze. Oh, you couldn't, eh? Why, you didn't soft-hearted, eh? Why, you low-down, white liver, double-crossing... Bill! Yeah! Bill! Ah, uh, don't! Bill! Don't! How far the heck is landing, Marshal? We're pretty close now. What's that light ahead? Oh, somebody waving a lantern. Pull up, Marshal. Hello, that's Sergeant Blair. Yes. What is it? There's oh. a man here at the Maggie Smith. Been shot. Looks to be dying. Hurry up, Sergeant. All right, come on, Marshal. This way. Where is he? Right in here, Sergeant. Oh. How long has he got? Not long, Sergeant. All right, let's have a look at him. Hello, Joe. So it's you, is it? Sure, Sergeant. It's me. Guess I'm all through this time. Listen, Joe. Who is your partner? Partner? He ain't my partner. What is his name? Oh. Calls himself Bill Flint. But that ain't his real name. Well, it's his real name I want. Sure, I know. His name is... Oh. Yes, yes, yes. His right name is Kiefer. Bill Kiefer. Now, all right, now tell me, Joe. Uh, hold on, Sergeant. It's no use. He's gone. Oh, poor fellow. Hmm. So it was smiling Bill Kiefer, eh? And he slipped us. I've wanted him ever since that McAndrew case. If we can get him for this killing, I'll be pretty happy. Here's the gun, Sergeant. All right, take care of it. I want those fingerprints. How about that fur? All here, Sergeant. Good, that's something anyway. Let's get going. Got to pick up Kiefer. But smiling Bill Kiefer, once more, made a clean getaway and eluded the police dragnet, slipped over to the U.S. border. Three years have passed. Through well-earned promotion, Blair is now an inspector. Our closing scenes finds Inspector Blair and his office at Moose Jaw talking to Sergeant Marshall. Marshall. Yes, Inspector. What is it? Telegram? Yes. Just listen to this and renew your faith in miracles. It's from the immigration people of the border. Identification K-158. William James Kiefer. Man answering name and description. Entered Canada at North Portal this afternoon. Is on northbound Sioux train number 73. Destination, Moose Jaw. Well, by all that's wonderful. <laughs> Seems too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, it looks like a cinch. All we've got to do is to pick him up. I don't know, Marsh. Not quite that easy. But we have him cold on that Joe Smith killing. We have a dying man's statement. Just a word of mouth. That's not enough, Marsh. But the fingerprints on that gun. Yes, that helps. But remember, at the time of that crime, Kiefer went under the name of Bill Flint. We've got to prove that Flint and Kiefer are the same man. And those fingerprints on the gun were not so good. I see. If we get him, when will he come up for trial? He'll be tried at the assizes next month before his honor, Judge McDonald. Oh, that's all right. Old Sandy will hang him, sure. Yeah, well, if that identity is straightened out, but if it isn't, a good defense lawyer will knock us cockeyed. Think so? Then what can we do? Hold on. Bill Flint served six months for burglary in Prince Albert. We have the card with good fingerprints on it in the files. How does that come in? Why, it's obvious. We can prove Bill Flint killed Joe Smith at Hackett's Landing. We've got Flint's fingerprint record. Now we've got to get Kiefer's and prove that he's Bill Flint. You mean get Kiefer's fingerprints? Yes, exactly. How will you do it with this new law? I'll get those fingerprints if I have to beat Kiefer over the head. (laughs) Why, Inspector? I know, I know. It's rank heresy, of course, and I don't expect to go that far. (laughs) But this man has slipped us three times. We've got to put a red card on him this time, Marshal. Well, what's the plan? Let's see. That train is due at Pasco, 7.15. Gives us an hour and a half. He might slip us at Pasco. It's a junction. 
You'll have to get to Pasco and make sure of him. I see. But there's no train to Pasco until number six. That's too late. In just a minute. I'll find out. Hello, Central. Inspector Blair speaking. Get me CPR. Dispatch his office. Hurry up. Police call. Right. Hello? Hello? CPR? I want Chief Dispatcher. Yes. Hello, Ernie? Blair speaking. You got anything going to Pasco in the next hour? What? A fast freight. I see. That'll do. I want to send a man up. Sergeant Marshall. Be down in half an hour. Hold it for us, will you? Thanks. There you are, Marshal. Change of the plane clothes. There's a train leaves in 35 minutes. What charge will I use? No charge at all. Leave him alone till he gets in here. I'll be upstairs in the depot, room 18. Tell him I want to see him. But get him up somehow. All right. Better shove along. Very good, sir. Hello, Marshal. Keep us here, sir. Bring him in. Well, well, hello there, Sergeant. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Inspector now, ain't it? Well, <laughs> how be you? How are you, Keeper? Oh, say, Inspector, anything wrong? No, everything's fine, Keeper. Heard you were coming up and just wanted to have a little talk. Well, that's fine. Thought you might be a little sore about that McAndrews face. Well, you can't hang that on me now. That's right, Keeper. That's all washed up and outlawed. Sure, that's what I thought. You're yeah, kind of glad to get back to Candy. I'm aiming to stay up here regular. That is, if you fellas will let me. That's <laughs> all right, Keeper. Huh. I think I can arrange that for you. Well, that's mighty white of you, Sergeant. Uh, what is it you wanted to know, anyhow? Oh, just a matter of routine. I'd like to get your fingerprints in case you should, well, take a notion to start celebrating again. Fingerprints? Oh, I don't know. Don't seem to me you've got any right to do that. Oh, of course you can refuse, uh, and I'll have to hold you for inquiries. Well, all right, then. Right, stick a thumb on here. That's it. Now the other one. How's that, Marshal? Check, Inspector. They're the same prints from this car. Say, what is this, a frame-up? William James Keeper, you're under arrest. What? For the murder of Joseph Smith at Hackett's Landing in 1903. Hey, you can't pin this on me. You can't frame me like that. Hey, I'll take him, Marshal. Hey, now. Easy now. Hey, listen to me. Easy. Come on. This way. You have heard the seventh episode of Blair of the Mounties. Our next chapter is entitled The Cedar Lake Mystery. <laughs>